One of the many memorable saints to come out of the continent of Africa is a 4th century monk named Moses. He is known by many names, Moses the Black, Moses the Ethiopian, Moses the Abyssinian, Moses the Robber, Moses the Strong. Moses lived in North Africa in the 4th century. He is one of the Desert Fathers, a group of saints known for their wisdom, monastics that lived out in the desert. There are many quotes and sayings left from Abba Moses or Father Moses. He is loved by Christians all around the world. There are many reasons why he is so remembered, and I think it is because he is so relatable. The challenges that he faces in his life, in his journey towards Christ, are very different in appearance to the ones that we are likely to face in our lives but they are still of the same kind. For many years, Moses was a robber, a dangerous thief that prowled through the deserts with gangs, robbing travelers. He was brutal, he was violent, he was dangerous, and he looked it. He was very strong and very big. He had been, at the beginning of his life, a slave that had run away after a charge of murder was brought against him. This guy was bad news. At one point in his career of violence and theft, he was running away from the law. He needed somewhere to hide, and he chose a monastery that he came across out there in the desert. Confronted with the sight of holy monks, he was suddenly hit with the realization of his own unholiness. He was hit by the weight of his own sin and realized that this holiness, this purity was what he wanted. He had to beg the monks to accept him because for a while they weren't sure if this was just some kind of plot for him to get close to them. But they soon realized that, no, he was serious. He wanted to turn his life around, and he did. Holiness isn't an overnight occurrence. It doesn't happen with the flick of fingers. He had to spend years overcoming his own sins. He had to fight for years in his heart with the temptations of lust. He had to fight with the temptations of anger and rage. And these things beset him constantly, and he was often discouraged in the fact that he couldn't get over them but he was encouraged by his elders to keep fighting because there were more people fighting with him than against him. God had welcomed the sinner, but God was working to help the sinner become a saint. There is a story that I love, that Moses at one time was in the desert, away from the monastery, in prayer. He was attacked by four thieves. Muscle memory kicked in, rage kicked in, and he fought all of them. And after taking them all out, they're all lying unconscious on the ground around him, he suddenly realizes, wait, this isn't how I'm supposed to be living now. So he ties them up, carries all four of them back to the monastery and says to the brothers, what am I going to do? I'm supposed to love them, but I've already knocked them unconscious. These monks would have been terrified. Here is their brother coming in carrying four unconscious thieves. And they said to him, look, you're going to have to patch them up and forgive them and let them go. And Moses thinks, oh, that's, that's fair enough, that is what I've been learning how to do, and he looks after them. These four thieves are shocked at the treatment that they're getting from the monks. They were expecting to be killed. And then one of them recognizes the man who beat them up. These four thieves had been in one of the gangs that Moses had led years and years before. And they, like him, are overcome with the love of Christ that they're experiencing here in the monastery, and they join him as brothers and monks. Moses continued to grow in his love and fellowship with Jesus Christ. He continued to fight the temptations that beset him, growing stronger and stronger and closer to Jesus. There is a story from several years later in Moses' life where Moses was at a well when he was physically attacked by demons. They beat him so badly that he spent months recovering in bed, unable to walk. And he was thrilled about this. Why? Because temptation no longer worked. He had fought temptation off, and the demons now had to resort to something as pitiable, predictable, and basic as physical violence. And pain was something that Moses found much easier to handle. There is a story from later on when a bishop wanted to test Moses to see if Moses had overcome his rage and his anger. There was a service. All of the monks were at this major cathedral, and the bishop singled out Moses to insult him. He treated him terribly and told him to get out of this church. Moses didn't reply at all. He turned around and walked out of the building without arguing. The bishop was so amazed and so impressed, he called him back in and made him a priest on the spot. He made him an abbot of a monastery, and Moses was soon overseeing hundreds of monks. 
Moses led this monastery for many years, teaching the brothers and the visitors about the love and beauty of Jesus Christ. In around the year 400, the monastery was surrounded by raiders. While many of the monks escaped, Moses and several of the brothers were killed there. His story, his wisdom, and many of his quotes and sayings have lived on for centuries in the Christian church. His is a story that reminds us of the power of repentance. It reminds us that no one is beyond repentance. Never give up praying for sinners that you know, because repentance is open for everyone. It was open to a robber on the roads. His is also a story that reminds us that holiness isn't something that happens instantly. We cannot instantly become excellent, perfect Christians. Holiness is a journey. On this journey with us is the church. On this journey is Moses the Strong. And on this journey is Jesus Christ that walked with Moses. And so ends another episode. But there is more to discover about Moses the Black. There are more excellent stories for you to find out. This was just an introduction. If you're interested in the tea, we are drinking rooibos tea, which is a plant that grows in Africa. And it's delicious. I love rooibos tea.